For more than two decades, Gene Cady lived and breathed Purdue Boilermaker basketball. He is the all-time winningest coach in Purdue history. He claimed six Big Ten championships and six National Coach of the Year awards. Sports 18 recently sat down with a legendary coach as he shared his thoughts on a variety of basketball topics. Gene Cady paved the way to put Boilermaker basketball on the national stage. He touched countless lives as he helped student athletes earn their degrees while winning basketball games. Katie has many fond memories from his time spent as the head coach of Purdue's basketball team. There are too many to share and too little time to tell them. But there was one win that stood out. A game that really made my career, maybe when we would beat Minnesota up in Minneapolis to win the Big Ten title in 84 when we were uh, picked uh, ninth in the league, so that was super. We won the league title along with Illinois. And uh, on the way home, though, they told us we had to go to Memphis and play in the NCAA on their home court. So that kind of ruined the evening, but it was still very enjoyable. A close friend of Katie's is current Purdue head coach Matt Painter. The two speak frequently, and Katie has faith that Painter will get the Boilers back on top. He's a special guy. I really love him as a person, and uh, he's a great coach, and I really has enjoy I've enjoyed his success. Well, I know he expects him to win, and that's what I expect. I always did. He knows that. So... Uh, uh, just, just to keep getting better and improving on a daily basis and, and mainly get the degree. Katie is currently an assistant basketball coach at St. John's. He breaks down game film and serves as a bench coach on game days. If I can help uh, add some uh, ideas of how we can win or do better the next time, so I like it. Katie and his wife Kathleen are enjoying their time in New York. But it is a lot different than his days spent in West Lafayette. New York City is a lot different than Lafayette, Indiana or, or Indianapolis, but it's still a great place to live, and my wife and I enjoy it there a lot. It's been, been a super experience, and we hope to be pretty good this year, so we'll have to wait and see. Katie will be inducted into the Hall of Fame on November 24th of this year.